what's up everybody i'm the layman and happy 2018 yeah it's been a while and rooster teeth act took a break from ruby over the over christmas week to i don't know because of christmas i don't know but now we're finally back and with a new episode and boy is this one a doozy just but depending on how things go in the next episode what happens in this one is going to be felt for a while but I'll get to that because that's how I do so since this is the first new video that I've uploaded in 2018 let's start it off with the yang so th this the episode opens with with crow and everybody like walking into Haven Academy and literally doing the walk because of course they are why wouldn't they and yeah R Ruby's looking around Marvel I guess marveling is I don't know it's it's honestly not important but they get inside Lionheart's waiting for them acting supremely nervous and and while he and Crow are talking with each other you know doing that thing Yang looks over to the side and sees uh, a bird perched up on one of the one of the railings on a on a higher balcony or floor whatever which is of course her mom like anybody would assume especially since you know she saw her mom like as a bird before and at that point the jig is basically up raven <laughs> pretty much takes over talking from lionheart and reveals the whole the whole plan not exactly the whole plan but basically reveals yes this is kind of a trap after that she brings in she uses her teleporting sword thing to bring in cinder and the rest of her crew and then hazel big guy kind of kind of quiet stoic he, he was with adam when when adam you know <laughs> showed so sienna Khan the point point. And th and then Cinder basically takes over talking and and basically liter literally fills in every single other hole that in the information that everybody has that that Lionheart was like under Salem's influence for a long time. He's the cowardly lion, by the way. He's supposed to be the cowardly lion. It did not dawn on me until this episode that he was supposed to be the cowardly lion, but he is. So she yeah she keeps talking which naturally riles Jean up because you know she was the woman who basically killed his, the first woman to actually the first girl to actually kiss him still mad about that still sort of angry about that but that doesn't matter anymore dork, dork knight for life and and yeah he, he basically just rants for a minute and then he de demands like she answer for herself and if her response is naturally who are you again <laughs> like it wouldn't be anything else like come on how many interactions have they had like outside, outside of him being a statistic on a sheet of paper in regards to her plans she probably didn't even probably wouldn't have even remembered his name <laughs> had it not literally been said by by Nora just a minute before but that basically kicks off the entire, the whole fight, because th this is this is just a this is a rumble now, and everybody starts pairing off. John, you know, swing swing his sword at Pira, which I love the fact that it transforms into a larger blade. Still not a gun. R Ruby gets stuck with Emerald because Emerald is Cinder's fangirl and will not let her <laughs> let Ruby touch her senpai. Yang and Mercury pair off, and. Yeah, you know, clearly, one of them's trying to rile the other up. I honestly, we don't get a lot of focus on that, which I'm mad about. I'm legit mad about that. I wanted more of that. Crow and Raven, you know, go off do their thing. Pinora and Ren, you know, take on Hazel, which okay. Clearly, the guy's something else. So I don't know how much good they're gonna do. O Oscar like ducks to the side and goes to confront Lionheart. And and Weiss and, Ver, and Weiss and Vernal face off against each other, and d it's very clear that Vernal is the better fighter in this case, 
is she kind of outclasses Weiss at a couple points and does not allow Weiss a moment to breathe to, you know, actually get any of her own abilities off. Because if you let Weiss actually use use her use her stuff and her glyphs, then she's a force to be reckoned with. So Vernal's actually smart to not do that. Which makes sense because she's basically been trained by Raven for however the heck long. And throughout all the fights, it shows, like, the camera cutting back and forth between a bunch of the different pairs. Again, no no Crow Raven fight and no Yang Mercury fight, which, again, those are the most, the ones I find most, in, myself invested in the most. So come on, Rooster Teeth, you, you fix that, come on. And and eventually, and eventually Ruby act, Ruby notices that Cinder Cinder and Jean are fight. Well, notices notices the fight that's happening between Cinder and Jean that they're both rushing at each other, which manages to trigger some of her PTSD from you know the fall of Beacon, and she and she starts going Silver Eye Super Saiyan because that's just what that form is. However, Emerald knocks her out before before that can get fully turned on, although, and Ru and Ruby's basically, at the moment, unconscious on the ground. Because they have, because, spoilers, they don't cut back to her for the rest of the episode, I don't think. <laughs> I literally just watched it. You'd think I'd remember, but regardless, uh, Cinder's actually feeling the effects of that, like, she she's on her, on her knees, cl clutching her arm, that the one that has <laughs> clearly gotten a little bit of messed up from, you know, Ruby doing that before. And I think Jean is affected too because he go he goes for a lunge and manages to nick a little bit of Cinder's mask, but he falls over. So I don't even know what the heck that was about. He didn't he didn't look. I mean, clearly he he was sh shaking with rage, but he didn't look tired. And <laughs> yeah, this is apparently the last straw for Cinder, and she briefly loses her temper. But spouting epithets at John, but not really, because this is Rooster Teeth. They're not going to copiously swear in Ruby. And then she manages to regain her composure a little bit. And, you know, with Weiss, like, <laughs> running up against a wall with uh, with Vernal, C Cinder makes, makes a spear made of glass and fire. I think it's glass. Whatever the heck she makes her physical weapons out of, she makes one, tosses it, and skewers right, Weiss right through the side of her torso. And after after cutting to everybody's shocked reactions of this, like we see one more shot of what, one more shot of Weiss from like from the side. She she's like she's on her knees on the ground. The the spear disappears, and we see her begin to fall forward. And that's the end of the episode. Needless to say, there there was some very strong reactions on the internet right after this happened. And for the sake of for the sake of just not beating dead horses, I'm not going to go into it much. But what I will say is that a lot of people should have taken a step back and realized, oh wait. They didn't actually confirm beyond the shadow of a doubt that she's dead yet. Maybe I should at least wait until next episode before before I react strongly to this. But that's in the past now, and I'm honestly sitting on the edge of my seat as well, waiting for episode 12 because yeah, I, I want to know what happens with Weiss. Because as a, as a writer, I am thinking of a, like all the possibilities for how the story could go, whether she actually does die or not, whether some Deus Ex Machina gets introduced to to prevent that from happening. I don't know, but I won't... Come on, Rooster Teeth. Hur hurry it up already. I know you put these out on a weekly basis, but that's honestly not fast enough for me. And, but this was this was a doozy of an episode, and... Yeah, this, this is an interesting way to start off 2018. And I really, and I really hope they... They, they're Rooster Teeth is smart about where they take the series, like after this and what they're gonna do. Although I have faith in them because, because I'm not letting my emotions ru run rampant. Like again, if if something does happen, like something suitably bad, like they kill off Neil or something, like maybe I'll get angry. But until that point, I'm I'm gonna 
you know, stay calm and wait until the next episode happens. <laughs> so, here's hoping to to an interesting and enjoyable 2018, and hopefully still a good Ruby after this, and I will see you guys in the next video.